We have on stage Jordi from WeCover, uh, who will tell us a little bit about uh, embedded insurance. Uh, so uh, uh, we wanted to feature like some um, uh, interesting insure tech and APIs companies after Floy on presentation, uh, but like what's currently happening and what's the future of uh, insure tech and APIs, right? Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm sure that um, Jordi is joining. Uh, I see him coming through the backstage. Uh, you hear me? Yeah. Hello, Jordi. How are you? Good. Thank you. Really good. So I invite you to share your screen. Okay. And you will be live for 25 minutes after the screen is shared. It's the third button below our two fo photos, like the one with the red line over a screen. Okay. Can you see my screen? We can see your, your screen, but not yet the presentation. Okay. Um, on Adobe, <laughs> and now we see the Q and A part. <laughs> okay, no problem. Go, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. First page. Perfect. Let's. Uh, you are. You have the stage for twenty five minutes. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. So thanks for having me in this uh, amazing event to talk about embedded insurance uh, and how APIs uh, will disrupt the insurance industry. Uh, I would like to start about uh, the digital change that we are facing due to the pandemic situation and how this has evolved uh, the digital transformation we were in. So digital has now become part of our day-to-day -day business in many, many areas, in particular in education, in the way we work, how we train, how we consume, and how we manage our businesses and our day-to-day our, our -day life. So at, at the same time, psychological barriers have been removed in a very uh, quick uh, way, and uh, digital manners have been adopted uh, in, a, in a very easy and very fast way. So it's been a quick learning process, and the level of adaptation, of, uh, we all know, it's been much shorter than expected. And what is most important now is availability. And this is something that is key, a key element for API, and a uh, customer is expecting to get uh, insurance uh, offer at the, right, at the right time, at the right moment, and, and with the right product. And availability is everything about how we present this offer and how agile is this offer and how this uh, improves the customer experience. So currently, the insurance industry is facing uh, many, many challenges, many, many changes too, in particular from the external world with the consolidation of new technologies, and in many cases, the insurance industry is so traditional, and uh, they are coping how to manage with these uh, new technologies and with these changes. The process of disintermediation, which is uh, a key element of the insurance industry, that, which is basically dominated uh, in the distribution through intermediaries, brokers, and agents, and also bank assurance. And uh, these technologies, in many cases, are changing the scope of uh, how the, the, the customer wants to access and wants to connect with the insurance company. Customer focus, uh, this is a trend that is based on how digital is presenting uh, proposition to customers. The sharing economy, the traceability and personalization of the service, service versus insurance, in many, many ways, uh, Customer is now uh, uh, used to subscription and services more than paying a premium for an insurance cover. So it's something that in many occasions is, uh, is, is very transparent. And there are new needs to cover, uh, new emerging needs that, new, uh, that need new solutions of, from the insurance industry that are taking uh, quite a long time to come to life. In particular, also from, from the internal organization of the insurance companies, there are challenges like high operational costs, reduced technical margins. The IT legacy systems are not flexible enough, and it takes a long time to, to change the systems and to adapt to the new needs. Distribution model with uh, many limitations, and somehow there are, have also some skills still not adapted to the new trends and to the new needs of uh, technology, as well as the methodologies and process changes that all, all in all are evolving and are changing, but uh, maybe are not uh, hoping the, the, the same speed that the environment is having. So these different technologies that are emerging are 
changing the scope of uh, the insurance industry and are also solving some of the main insurance challenges. Peer-to-peer, -peer, machine learning, uh, Internet of Things, blockchain, predictive analytics, artificial intelligence, and of course API. These are key elements that are all, in, all uh, challenging the insurance industry and in, in many occasions the insurance companies or the insurance sector uh, don't know exactly how to use them and how to set them in terms of priorities. Uh, so this gives uh, to other players, not only to the insurance companies, many opportunities about how to use these new technologies to solve these insurance challenges. This is, uh, <clears throat> this is the, the, the changes that are facing uh, mainly in B2B and B2C. In B2B, the insurance is more considered now as an utility, something that uh, can be used in the right moment at the right time. It is also considered something that can be uh, shared uh, as a, in the sharing economy. Customer is also expecting in, in, in the B2B business to have uh, active loss prevention, so to, to get some insights about the risk that is facing. And there are appealing digital brokers just focusing on digital business, which is uh, also the case of WeCover. In B2C, customer is expecting personalization, so that uh, this product is well thought about uh, their personal needs. Also for the episodic insurance, I just need an insurance for this right moment, not for uh, the, the annual uh, cover or for, for, one, for one specific uh, year. Expecting a superior customer experience and also to be part of a new digital ecosystem that is uh, growing and that is uh, uh, embedding uh, various uh, companies from various sectors. So these opportunities are generating new business models like the one that we have at WeCover. So basically what we are is, we are an insurtech company that we are creating value for uh, digital distribution uh, through other IT platforms. So we are helping insurers brokers and digital companies to embed insurance products into the digital distribution for different propositions in the simplest way possible. So I would uh, summarize it as we are distributing through platforms. So what we are allowing is we are enabling uh, vertical platforms, we are enabling other digital platforms to sell any kind of insurance products of in any digital environment, let's say a, a app a website a landing uh, so in any digital environment we are capable to place an insurance offer using apis so based on these apis we are uh, we, we are presenting to the market uh, three main distribution enablers first one is a uh, widget one click uh, is a widget that we integrate in a very easy way through API in the onboarding process of uh, an e-commerce. So the possibility to select one insurance cover, to select one insurance product, and the, ho the whole process that comes uh, with the interaction with the company, the documentation, the generation of the document, and uh, all the data related to this process is generated through the API. So we are taking all the information from the website where we are allocated, where the widget is allocated, and we are sending all this information through API to process the quote engine of the company. We are doing the same process with a wide label approach, which means that instead of just having a, a check that is, a, that, that is offering the insurance in, in, in the e-commerce, we are allowing any potential partner to place a quote and buy process in their website or in the AP application, which means that we are gathering data from external, and then we are quoting the process through API with the company and generating the policy at the right moment in time. We are also using the same technology in the API services to uh, deliver a solution for physical point of sale. What we have done is that we have uh, converted into something tangible, uh, a process that uh, it, it was traditionally uh, done through uh, paper forms. So now what we do is that in the point of sale, in a physical store, we are selling an insurance 
link to the sale of the core product. Let's say if we if we have an agreement with a physical store that is selling mobile, we are selling the insurance at the same time that we are selling the mobile uh, phone, and this uh, generates uh, code that is activated uh, through a, a specific uh, website through a landing, which generates the services of APIs with the companies that we have set the agreement previously. So in just one click, we are uh, capable to offer a superior experience to the customer and to sell an insurance in a physical store. So what we are doing is we are completing now this uh, hub of APIs with uh, several companies and with several products. So what we are doing is completing the range of insurance products in this grid. So we are having uh, APIs for all kind of different products, let's say for bikes and scoots, for pets, for mobile devices, musical instruments, ticketing, cyber risk, boats, whatever, payment protection, for instance, to household, motor insurance. We have developed API for several different insurance products and also for several uh, insurance companies. So what we are doing is we are allowing the different players, the different partners, to select what kind of insurance offer they want to place in their platform. So we are doing this, taking advantage of our proprietary technolo te technological platform that we have developed. So in fact, what we have developed is this API and business insurance music platform, this middleware. And uh, we are then uh, developing these front-end pieces like this widget checkout, this uh, one-click uh, checkout uh, that is done through API with our uh, middleware platform. We have also developed the white label widget for Quote and Buy and also specific landing and webs. We have connected these services with uh, different platforms like uh, uh, analytic and CRM, brokers, ERP, export batch processes, uh, e-commerce and digital environment, and, and for sure with the company's APIs. So what we are offering is one a plug and play solution that can work in a very short term in any digital platform to uh, offer any kind of insurance product. And in, in all this based on APIs. So which makes APIs fundamental for our business model is that we have consolidated this hub of APIs with several companies for several products. We would say that we are just in time insurance. So we are offering the insurance in the right moment at the right time. We are offering a very, very low operational cost. In fact, there's no people intervening in the uh, issuing of the, in the quoting and issuing of the policy. And we make insurance easy for non-experts. So it's not only about having the API, it's also sol about solving the lost in translation process between the partner and the company uh, about the uh, complexity of the insurance language, about the complexity of the insurance products and about also the usual complexity of the technology that now is very, very easy using these uh, API processes. We are also developing new products that are completely adapted to the, uh, the, to the underwriting uh, process. We are using uh, black and white underwriting. So what we are predefining is what kind of risks we can accept using the API and what can what kind of risk can uh, be excluded in the in the right moment and of course we are offering a distinctive customer experience and we are supporting the partner with the optimization of the funnel so we believe uh, jointly that this is disrupting the insurance business that we, this will allow to enable a new distribution channel using uh, platforms as Florian mentioned there are vertical platforms where some insurance are relevant and they, they may be interested in selling insurance in their platforms. We are already partnering with uh, more than 20 uh, platforms that they are interested in selling uh, several kinds of insurances. So we may see some of use cases. For instance, we partnered with Fintonic, which is an aggregator for uh, a fintech, which is uh, using also API for open banking to aggregate accounts from, from customers. And we are offering uh, insurance products in their marketplace. This is done using APIs in a very easy manner and following the look and feel and the user experience 
that they have set for the rest of the products. So the same we have developed also in this particular case for Telefonica, for their affinity group of employees, where we are offering in their website the uh, possibility to uh, quote and buy uh, insurance for pets and, uh, and bikes. And this is something that uh, it goes through our platform, it goes through uh, a web and, and application using also APIs with the, with the different companies that we have uh, connected. And finally, I would say that this is the most powerful uh, example in terms of how can we gather all the data from an e-commerce platform and we are just placing a check that is uh, asking the customer if he wants to add the insurance in the right moment that he is going through the checkout process of the e-commerce. In this particular case, we are offering an insurance for scoots and for, and for bikes in an e-commerce that is owned by Endesa from, from, from one of the largest utilities in Spain. So this allows us, of course, to uh, replicate the same model using APIs for other distributors, for other partners that are using uh, vertical platforms and where we can, of course, uh, embed any kind of insurance offer. So I would be delighted to, to answer any of your questions and, and, and we are really confident that APIs will disrupt the insurance business as we are noticing uh, that many, many partners are really interested in uh, distributing insurance using this technology. Yeah, thank you very much, Jordi. So it's time for some question. Can you uh, um, uh, stop sharing your screen so we can see us better? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Uh, so we have a first question. Um, who do you find you compete with? Okay, we, we, we compete with uh, basically with uh, traditional brokers that they may uh, get some accounts without having the technology, but they have, of course, the uh, power to, to enter in some specific uh, account. What we are pro uh, providing to them and what we are partnering is also with brokers to provide the technology because we are not competing as a broker. We are just competing as a technology. So we are enabling also for large brokers with uh, some accounts that they already have to make this interaction with the company to make the process easier. Yeah, and how do you see this competition uh, evolve in the future? The, the we, com we, global competition of uh, of your sort of platform. How yeah, do you think it evolve? we see this competition turning into a collaboration model. So what we see is that we are uh, enabling uh, companies and brokers to digitalize their offering. We understand that they have. A huge capacity of uh, distribution and they, they can get into many, many accounts. And what, what, what we provide is this set of APIs that are uh, well prepared to embed this insurance offer in any kind of platform. So this is a plug and play uh, business and it makes it much shorter in, in the go to life process and makes it also much cheaper than the internal development that they can do. Yeah. How do the margins of WeCover compare with the margins of a traditional insurer? Well, we are, we are getting more or less the same margins of the broker uh, business, uh, although that we are sharing some of the uh, margin coming from the commission premium to the distributor. So we understand that we are uh, playing with the large volumes and that we can share, of course, the commission coming from the insurance company with the distributor, and this makes the business a win-to-win -win game. Well, how do you see the evolution of, uh, uh, the, let's say, insurance pricing and prices? Because, you know, last mile, uh, let's say, insurance products often are really expensive. Uh, for people who know, when you rent a car in the U.S., for example, the insurance is more expensive than the car, actually. Okay. When you rent a boat, it's uh, it's uh, it's crazy when you... Uh, uh, you Yep, some some works somewhere. Yeah, sorry, uh, uh, but yeah, so how do you see the pricing evolve with the insurance being distributed more and more by APIs? Well, what, sorry, sorry for that. It was totally unexpected. So, so in terms of pricing, what we see is that uh, we can personalize the offer based on the uh, information that we are taking using the API. So, 
So the, the thing is that we will evolve to personalize more and more the pricing once we are uh, getting the data uh, using this technology. Yeah, uh, uh, two other questions. How do you deal with the underwriting aspects of the insurance business across uh, all different up upstream clients that embed your APIs? Well, uh, actually, this is one of the key points that we need to play with the companies. So before we are uh, 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 partnering with them to, to use their APIs, what we are setting is the, the, the black and white underwriting, as I mentioned. So what we are making them to feel comfortable about uh, that we are not uh, following any other rules than the ones that have been set for them, of course. Uh, and, and this is something that is embedded in the API as well. The only thing that we are just reconsidering with them is to allow them to rethink if there, there are some questions or some underwriting processes that can be uh, enhanced. And there are some questions that we can remove uh, to make the uh, user experience much easier. Uh, uh, last question, does WeCover create its own insurance product? Yes, we have cre created uh, our own insurance products. Uh, initially, we worked with uh, the traditional insurance products that, that were on the shelf of the insurance companies. We have started in Spain. Our ambition is to work in the different countries. So our proposition plays uh, are, uh, in, in all the different countries as we work with technology. So we wanted also to test uh, what was the difference about uh, building our own product. And what we see is that, of course, you can get uh, higher margins. You can get a uh, much leaner uh, underwriting uh, process. And, and, and also that are products that are thought to be distributed through platforms. Yeah. Do you think with more data, uh, according to your the way you connect you know, end users with the insurers, actually they will be able to uh, make better underwriting and maybe reduce the price at some point. <laughs> I'm super confident about that. And I think that the more data that we can manage and we can provide to them, the more that we can optimize the funnel, optimize the conversion, optimize the underwriting process and the pricing as well. So I think that although the companies, the insurance companies, they have a lot of data, we can provide also this data about the people who is purchasing, people who is not purchasing, and also circumstances that make them to purchase the insurance at the right uh, at that right moment, so so this this can also be uh, can add value as well. A yeah, kind of uh, insurance uh, recommendation engine or you know, like an agency. Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much, Jordi, for all these uh, questions. So 